Have you always wondered how sheet music works? Maybe you're a guitarist who plays tap. Maybe you are just starting out with the music and you have no idea where to start. Then look no further, because this might be the perfect thing you are looking for. My name is Luke Swinkles and welcome to the course introduction theory for the beginning musician, where I explain in about seven hours all the basics I expect every beginning musician to learn. In this video, I will quickly cover what this course is all about, why I created it, what we will learn, and who this course is for. So first of all, what is this course? This course is about seven hours long and goes of the basic of music theory. And it is everything an all-round musician needs to get started. Why did I create this course? There are so many videos on YouTube and lots of them, to be honest, are better than mine because I cannot edit anything. But the downside of YouTube is that there is not really one path. Lots of creators have built that, but that costs money because I now know that it costs a lot of time and effort to make a course like this. And so because there were not that many courses for absolutely free, I thought I would make one. So what will we learn in this course? This course is built up in chapters and there are eight chapters in this course. There are four on introduction to sheet music, where we will learn the most basics on how sheet music works. So how do we name the notes? What are flats and sharps? What are dotted notes? How do we define pitch and rhythm? How do we find articulations, dynamics and repeat signs? What is a key signature? All those things is what you will find in regular sheet music for whatever instrument you play. There are two chapters on skills and chords where you will learn your first scales and your first triads. You will learn the major and minor scale as well as the major and minor triads. And we will introduce the circle of fifths to learn, which at this moment will not make any sense. But if you are going to follow this down the way, it will make perfect sense to you. Then there will be a chapter where you will apply theory because while well, learning one thing, that's nice, but if you cannot use it, it becomes pointless. So that's why there is a, where there is a bit of a, your own project in that chapter, which is near the end, which is where you are either going to learn more about chord progressions, more about scales or more about playing pieces. And then we will summarize and there is a test at the end. Each chapter takes probably about maybe five to seven days. It depends on how much time you have, of course, because the most important thing is that you can do this on your own tempo. The, theory, the applied chapter will probably take a bit longer since there is a project in that. So the requirements, well, you need to have an instrument or you need to be interested. Maybe you are uh, 50 plus years old, you're on the couch and all your children are playing an instrument and you're like, you know what, I actually want to know what they're talking about when it's about music theory. Hey, if you are interested in music, music theory, you can also do this course. You need to understand English. So if you are still here, that means you understand me. That's good. And last of all, which is really, really important, it is mandatory that you have fun. Because the more fun we have, the more easier it is to learn new things. So how do we pass this course? Now, of course, everyone can do whatever they wish because it's free and it's YouTube. And if you don't like it, you will only watch video one and you're out. But I always like when I'm learning something, I like to do exercises and I like to test. So that's why I made some tests. There was one homework assignment on sheet music. There was a small test on skills and chords. There was that project at the end, right, to apply stuff, which are all worth 20% each, and then an exam at the end worth 40% each. And if you have a final grade of 55 or of 100, meaning you know at least a bit more than half of it, then you'll pass this course. There won't be any fancy certificate for it, but I always it's included, probably nobody will make any of it, but I will check every week to see if someone did it. 
that would be pretty awesome so a whole lot of stuff how do we begin well we begin of course at introduction to sheet music one the beginning and then which is where we are going to learn how to read the g and f clef and where we are going to learn how to count notes so i hope you are all excited and it is my absolute honor that I can guide you in your first steps to music theory. Hope you have fun. Hope you're gonna learn a whole new things. And hopefully I will see you in the introduction video of chapter one on introduction to sheep music. Have fun learning. <laughs>